Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to do string matching using the string R library. So first we're going to start by loading in the tidyverse, which contains string R. We're also going to be loading in some data from Reddit. These are Reddit posts from the machine learning subreddit. So we have essentially some real text data here to work with. And I'll start by showing how to do string pattern detection. So what we're basically doing here is seeing whether a certain string or string pattern exists within other strings. And to do that, we can use the stir underscore detect function. So we're going to take the first 100 records in this data set, so the first 100 posts. We're going to see if they contain the value deep. So essentially we're looking for posts that might be about deep learning and we're going to see what the result of this function is. You can see each one where that is true is labeled as true and every one that wasn't is false. Now if we wanted to get the indices where it was true instead of the true false values, we can do that with the which underscore stir function. So in this case we're, we're passing in the same data, the same pattern. We're just going to get the indices instead of the true false values. So that shows us where that is true. And then we can use these indices to extract those records where that was true just by using them as the indexer into that vector. So if we take the vector of the body of the posts and use those indices, we can extract each of those posts. And it seems some of the posts were pretty long. So we can also count how many occurrences of a substring exist within a string using the stir underscore count function. Some of these posts were pretty long, so they might have actually mentioned the word deep more than once. So we'll run that, and we can see that the first post did mention it more than once. There's two there. We can also use the stir underscore locate underscore all function to check where the occurrences of the substring are. So we'll just run this only on the first post since we know it does contain two instances of this word deep. So we'll run that and we can see that first one, for instance, starts at the 72nd position in the string and ends at the 75th position. Now, if you actually want to extract the matching value, you can do that with the stir underscore extract function that will get you the first match found and return it as a vector. So we're going to look at the first three posts. This time we're actually going to pass in a different pattern. Instead of only looking for the word deep, we're gonna look for a deep, or, the, or, and. That's what these bars do. This is actually a regular expression pattern instead of just a fixed word. Whenever a function in string R calls for a pattern, you can just pass in a fixed word, but you can also pass in a regular expression which is essentially a string with some special formatting characters in it that can allow it to match multiple different things. Regular expressions can you allow you a lot more flexibility in terms of what you're matching. For instance, you could use it to try to extract things like web links or certain elements of a web page or things like that. A comprehensive discussion of how regular expressions work is outside of the context of this guide. But if you're interested in learning about how to make regular expressions in R and more about generally just how they work, I do have a lesson in my introductory R guide on character strings that covers regular expressions. So I will leave a link to that video in the description below. But back to stir extract. We'll run this and see what the first occurrence was in each of these first three posts. So the word deep occurred first in the first post and occurred first in the second post. And in the third post, actually none of these th three words occurred. So this pattern wasn't matched at all. Now, if you want to do the same thing as this, but get the values back in a matrix instead of a vector, you can do that with stir underscore match. So this is essentially gonna do this same thing, but these values will just be in the form of a matrix instead. And if you want to match more than just the first occurrence of a pattern, you want to match every single occurrence, you can do that with stir match all. So in this case, we'll get every single occurrence back here as a list of matrices. So when we run this, we can see that the first post actually contains seven matches, deep and and the deep occurred again, and then and occurred twice. And in the second post, for instance, there were three matches. And again, the third post didn't have any matches. That covers the basics of how to do some string matching using the string R library. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to subset and replace strings using string R. So see you next time.